is in uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Just a few moments ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers emerged from the tunnel here in Charlotte. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up with the Cincinnati Bengals. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Now whistles, and we've got a man down. A man down here following the kickoff. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Burrow going to give this to Mixon, and he's got a Bengals first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. They'll run on first down. Mixon, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here we go, here we go. And now they will throw it with Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 32-yard line. Passing here, Joe Burrow got a man open. It's Chase. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? On first down, Mixon. And good pressure defensively to stop him for a loss of a couple. And there's also a flag to go with it. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. After the penalty, it's Mixon. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Second and 15 now. Burrow. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. delay it's Mixon and they're gonna lose some on this play being knocked back to the 18 that'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth 
No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. McPherson's kick is good. And the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 3-0. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. Here's McPherson now to send it away. And Abdullah will not try to bring it out. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Coming up on a second and six. Now it's Darnold. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. 40 yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world, either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Behind the chain, second and 13. Here's Darnold. He's got a man, that's Marshall. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big play that time through the air. 32 yards for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. Drop this down to McCaffrey. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Moore. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. And how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. Yeah. 
Now Darnold. That is caught. It's Anderson. Touchdown, Panthers. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Panthers have taken the lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. After the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. No return here for Wilson. To touch back, it'll come out to the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting up field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. From the 29, Burrow. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Brian Burns just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. And that sack, Charles, just looked like a case where a speedy defensive end is a little bit quicker than the offensive tackle. Yeah, it makes it difficult for a tackle to determine what exactly to do. Do you do the kick slide and try and get back in the pocket and meet him there? Do you meet him on the line of scrimmage where they call a quick set? And pressure coming, and they got it once again. Jeremy Chin, he's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. Third and long defense with no fear, they brought the pressure. Zero fear at all, that means they feel really good about the guys who are going to cover. But the biggest one is they think their pressure will get there before he has a chance to find an open receiver. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is set away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. certainly would have been nice instead at least it'll be fourth down tremendous coverage there just did not catch the football and complete the interception but what do they say all the time if he had really good hands he'd be playing offense on fourth down here's Lachlan Edwards to punt it Bengals drive about to get going. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach 
Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? And then Burrow's saying, let's go, let's go. Looking to throw again on second down. Burrow, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Burrow on third down. That's caught by his tight end, Uzama. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Again, it's Burrow. Flush to his right. And Burrow going to slide to the ground as he does pick up the first down. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Burrow. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Burris. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Donald's throw here into the hands of Moore. And he's taken down inside the 30. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Darnold. Escaping the pressure right. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And the Bengals grab it. And a big turnover there his guys will get the football back. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Incomplete. The tight end, C.J. Uzama, the intended receiver. And it's second down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Burrow looking to pass. He'll drop this one down to Mixon. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Final play of the half for Burrow and company. Open man is Higgins. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Meanwhile, Darnold's throw is caught here by Anderson. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot. Oh, that 
gets into double coverage and intercept. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and the offense is going to get the ball back. After all that, heck, it'll be a first down. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. 45 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Back to Mixon on second down. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Open man is Uzama. Seven yards to pick up there. Second and three, and they trail seven to three, but getting close to changing that. And this defense hoping to limit them to a field goal to preserve the lead. Shedding through the defense, and all the way down inside the five to the four. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Mixon. And he pulls his way into the end zone for a Bengal touchdown. Joe Mixon taking it in from four yards out. And the Bengals are going to jump back in front. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. the touchdown McPherson on to kick this one away now Abdullah the return and he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line this Carolina offense at the line ready to go and following the interception just any interception are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no you just throw that out the window I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Just don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Second down at four. Back to throw, Darnold. And that's complete to the right side. It's Marshall. If you do read man covers, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Darnold will hand off to McCaffrey. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. 
I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. On second and nine, Darnold for Marshall. That's complete. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. The shotgun snap for Darnold. Eluding the pressure right. And Darnold going to slide to the ground here, but not before he does pick up the first down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 41. McCaffrey on the counter. And he's not even able to get back to the line of scrimmage. And there's also a flag down, and it's in the area of holding. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. To throw is Darnold. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll make this a second and long. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. To throw again on second down, Darnold. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So third down and a field goal from here would be right about 50 yards as they try to get closer. Well, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. A big one coming now for the kicker, Zane Gonzalez. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And this kick is not going to get there. It's short and no good. The Bengals drive about to get going. And they caught a break with that missed field goal. Instead of being tied, they now sit in the fourth quarter driver's seat, still up three. And now he got away from that first tackler. No idea, but he did, and it winds up with positive yardage. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. First throw right side pulled in by Higgins, and he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Burrow throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Burris. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. After the interception, here's Darnold. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30.
first and ten. Darnold hit as he throws there, incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game. Instead, they're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Second and ten. Darnold now to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Thomas. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. A fake to McCaffrey. Now Darnold. And that almost intercepted. Oh, they would have loved to have their first pick of the game right there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. If it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Gonzalez's kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, <laughs> trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. to return it and not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23 the Bengals drive about to get going well the bad news they had the turnover last time the good news their defense only surrendered three so now we are set up for pressure comes in he's brought down it's a Panther sack he couldn't get rid of it he takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down I found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. But they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings us all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Here's Darnold. And it'll be caught in the end zone for the Carolina touchdown by D.J. Moore. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Panthers use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. the touchdown. Here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Wilson now on the return. 
And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. I tell you, it has not been his best day throwing the football. He really needs to piece something together here. All will be forgiven if he leads him into the end zone. Now the Bengals urging everybody to get back to the line of scrimmage. To throw, Burrow. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase. 65 yards and the Bengals are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes and McPherson on for the extra point and we are tied here in the fourth quarter Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. They'd like to avoid over. But then defensively, how do they adjust to that if they do work the sideline? It's the old leverage game, and we usually talk about leverage at the line of scrimmage, right? Who's going to win with the low blocking and everything that goes along with that? But in this case, you're trying as a defender to leverage them towards the middle of the field, not let them get to the sidelines and try and tackle them in bounds in order to run the clock out. Chess match here late. Yeah, we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. Here's Darnold. Pass complete, Thomas. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. I like what they did there, still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Darnold to throw. And this is caught. He hits more. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. extending the play but you know there's some really upset defenders on that one they thought that they had him instead he was coated in Teflon and got away in need of only about the length of the football here on second down now Darnold and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete it certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Darnold. And Marshall's got it. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game.
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. And everything right now rests on the right foot of Zane Gonzalez. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. And everything right now rests on the right foot of Zane Gonzalez. He's made one, and he's missed one thus far. This for the win. And this one is right down Broadway. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So it's not quite over yet, but you have to figure they pretty well got this one on ice now. And Brandon, I'm trying to figure out how they remain so calm in these situations and then go out and execute because I'm up here shaking like a leaf and I wasn't the one who had to make that kick. They look calm, but I bet if you had a heart rate monitor on them, <laughs> they'd be up in the 300s right now. <laughs> Well, this one, partner, was fun down to the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark.